I spoke with Ashley and she was clear about the ground rules for this interview. Okay, great. No, no, no. Frighteningly clear. Yeah, yeah, she's just trying to protect me, man, that's all. Right, well, uh, make sure to let her know that I was clear with you that this is an off-the-records off interview. Bro, it sounds like she put the fear in your heart a little bit. Yeah, well, she knows a lot about my personal life. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, okay. All right, <laughs> anyway. interesting, but we can leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, what I know so far is that Othella Akpem has mm -hmm. been butting heads with people in the front office. Yeah. Is this correct? Yep, 100% true. Can you tell more about that? Yeah, that's what I'm here for, man. <laughs> um, but I do have to ask you, um, I'm a little nervous right now. Mm. I don't usually do things like this, so just bear with me a little bit. I promise to be a sympathetic, yet journalistically impartial ear. Great, great. I, I appreciate that. Um, so as you know, it all starts on draft night, and most of the fans didn't want me there. No, I remember. Yeah, so they hired Freddie Novak to smooth things over with the fans on a PR perspective. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like a commercial, like cynical stuff like the media made it out to be. What was it? Okay, so they wanted to ease my transition to the starting lineup. So this was a top-down initiative? Oh, absolutely. Uh, but the thing is, I was... Man, <laughs> he literally forbid me from doing any of the activity. Wow, okay, so why do you think he was so against you having these interactions? Tell you the truth, John, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Why, MP, that's very interesting. Yeah, I, I thought you might like it. Go. So the Pelicans win the tip. All right, let's take a look at New Orleans starting lineup. They've got Jackson Hayes, Devontae Graham out there with C.J. McCollum. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Ingram in at the three slot. Now here's Ingram. No good on the three. Inside, here's MP. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. What a passer this guy is. I love how fast ball is at noticing when the defense has just overcommitted. Vucevic against Valanciunas. Outside Ingram. Valanciunas with a screen on MP. The shot by Ingram, no good. Now here's DeRozan. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. That's a foul. Back on draft night 2017, the Bulls trading away their star, Jimmy Butler. And what a haul they got for Minnesota. Zach Levine, the headliner, and he's turned out to be a franchise player. It's tough to win one of those type of deals, but Chicago got a stud. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. The coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. The shot by Ingram, no good. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. And DeRozan gets it to go on the assist by Embiid. Now that's an assertive offensive talent. DeRozan is able to use his size to his advantage. Ingram, the pass to Valanciunas. He can't get that one to fall. Nice D from Vucevic. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. Pick by Vucevic. Shoots over Valanciunas. DeMar DeRozan again. DeRozan's got six points. Oh, the lost art of the mid-range jumper. DeRozan dialing it in. McCullum against Ball. McCullum, the pass to Graham. Outside Ingram, over MP. The shot by Ingram, no good. 
and he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside. McCullum against Ball. McCullum shot is off. Chicago leading. Ball left side. Pass to MP. There's the triple. It's Hayes with the rebound. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Graham, the pass to Valanchunas. Over to Rosen. Oh, no good. Unable to win this run. The one thing you know you'll always get with Valanchunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. Pass to Valanchunas. Over to Rosen. And it's off the back of the rim. No good for Chicago. They've gone six of seven and looking good. Levine with it. McCullough covering. And the basket by DeRozan. And with his size and reach, Valanciunas is a monster on the boards, Graham. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots. Ingram with the ball. He's given them steady production at over 27 points a game. Ball runs point with Levine flanking him. DeMar DeRozan is out there with MP. And it's Vucevic in at the center position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. DeRozan finds MP. And the lamp is good off the glass. MP's got eight. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. McCullum against Ball. Now here's McCullum. Defense is right there. Shoots over Ball. No good. A bit long that time. The Bulls have gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Graham against DeRozan. And again, it's Chicago. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Now here's McCullum hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. Great positioning on the putback. Well, the effort and the power that Valanciunas could play with puts him in great position to grab rebounds like that. Pass to Vucevic. Ball against McCullum. MP right side. Six to shoot. To the middle. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his fourth assist with that last one. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Now here's McCullum. His last outing, he had 24 points. Down low. And that one's good. Ingram. He's got five. I know CJ plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great five. Back to MP. 19-footer. And the Bulls tack on two more. It's just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Now here's Hayes. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Here's McCollum. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Again, it's DeRozan. I mean, just a big, big night. It feels like DeMar has been doing this forever. And it's the Pelicans with the ball after the basket by Chicago. 
Valanciunas passes to McCollum. Over ball. McCollum's shot is off. Shot from 16. And DeRozan gets it to go. On the assist by Ball. Ball's got assist number five here tonight. And finished off by Hayes. Man, when he's playing under control, which is most of the time, McCollum is very effective setting up teammates. And so it's Chicago. Man, I am a big meditation guy, Nate, and I don't know if you knew that. All right, cool. Uh, I think I'm done. You guys have a good night. Those are the players we want to acquire, develop. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day, and peace out.